In this video, I'll provide some guidelines for how you can distinguish between different types of chemical substances. Our objective is to distinguish substances by either bond type, ionic or covalent bonds, compound type, either molecular or ionic, or as a subcategory to compound type, acids and bases. You should be familiar with differentiating between molecular and ionic compounds from the inorganic nomenclature video. To jog your memory, molecular compounds are composed of only nonmetals, whereas ionic compounds are composed of metals and nonmetals. Let's first focus on distinguishing between different types of bonding, whether the bonding in the compound is ionic or covalent. Why bonding occurs within chemical compounds is a big idea within the field of chemistry. The reason that bonding occurs is because it allows chemical systems to become more stable by minimizing their energy. There are two um, primary classes of bond type. One are ionic bonds. These occur within ionic compounds. What an ionic bond is, is an electrostatic attack, attraction between ions. You may have heard the phrase opposites attract before, and this is exactly what's happening in this ionic lattice. Positively charged cations are attracted to negatively charged anions. This is described by a mathematical relationship called Coulomb's law. What Coulomb's law explains is the relationship between the electrostatic attraction, the charges of the different ions in the lattice, and the distance between those ions. We'll be di diving into more details on Coulomb's law later. But what you need to know for now is that the attractive force relies on both the charge of the ions and the distance between them. The other primary type of bonding is covalent bonding, which occurs in molecular compounds. Covalent bonding is a sharing of electrons between atoms. Just to remind you, in a molecular compound, you have only neutrally charged atoms, not ions. You might be wondering, well, what about an ionic compound that contains a polyatomic ion? As an example, let's look at sodium nitrate, NaNO3. NaNO3 is composed of two ions, one Sodium plus, it's the cation. The other, NO3 minus, nitrate, is the anion. The cation and, 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 and anion are attracted to each other via electrostatic attraction. Therefore, this compound has ionic bonding. But within the nitrate anion, NO3 minus, we have nitrogen and oxygen. These are only nonmetals. So within NO3 minus, nitrogen and oxygen are bound together via sharing of electrons or covalent bonding. This means that for ionic compounds containing polyatomic ions, these compounds include both ionic and covalent bonding. Let's move on to our final classification, acids and bases. Acids and bases are special types of chemical compounds. There are many ways to define what an acid and a base is. The definition we'll be using in this class is that acids release H plus when dissolved in water, and H plus goes on to react with water to become the hydronium ion, H3O plus. How you'll identify if something is an acid from this definition is that the formula of that compound will have hydrogen listed first. Bases, on the other hand, release OH minus hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. You'll know that something is a base because it contains an OH, or more than one OH in some cases, in the formula. Let's look at some examples. When hydrochloric acid, HCl, is dissolved in water, that's what the AQ means in parentheses, that it, HCl is dissolved in water, you'll notice that the H3O plus ion and the Cl minus ion are separated from one another. This is called dissociation. 
You know that HCl is an acid because hydrogen is listed first in the formula. Some other common acids include HBr, hydrobromic acid, H2SO4, sulfuric acid, HNO3, nitric acid, and Hc2H3O2, acetic acid or vinegar. Here's a molecular level picture of sodium hydroxide, NaOH, dissolved in water, otherwise known as aqueous sodium hydroxide. You'll notice the sodium cation is separate from the OH minus anion. They're dissociated. Because NaOH has OH in the formula, you can identify that NaOH is the base. Some other common bases are lithium hydroxide, LiOH, potassium hydroxide, KOH, calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, and barium hydroxide, BaOH2. Hopefully these examples have helped you distinguish between bond type within a compound and compound type. Here are some example problems that you should do. For the first set of compounds, classify the type of bonding in the compound as either ionic or covalent. And for the second set of compounds, classify these compounds as either acids or bases. In both cases, provide some reasoning for your answer to convince yourself that you are um, meeting this learning objective to be able to distinguish these different substances. Good luck with the problems and I'll see you in the next video.